Hello everyone, it's Olivia Rafani here and today we're going to be looking at my prediction for the Charlotte Roval. So this is a new track in NASCAR and honestly I have no idea who's going to win. So yeah, so let's start off. Kevin Harvick on the pole. When, when in doubt, go with Kevin Harvick. That's kind of what I learned. So you know, Kyle Larson second, Kyle Busch third. Martin Truex Jr. A few multi-road course winners right there. Kyle Busch and Martin Truex Jr. right there. Eric Jones, fifth. Finished top five at Watkins Glen. Clint Boyer, sixth. Good at the road courses. Denny Hamlin, AJ Allmendinger. And I don't feel like AJ Allmendinger is going to be that good, honestly, here at the Roval. Jamie McMurray, ninth. And Joey Logano, tenth. Stage one, when you're in doubt, go with Kevin Harvick, no derp, Kyle Busch, Martin Truex Jr., the big three, all that, the top three, whatever. And clearly the big three haven't really shown themselves these past few races. So hopefully this might be their shot because this really um, needs experience because it's a new track. You really need experience on the race tracks and on the road courses, all that stuff. And I think these three have enough experience on road courses to where they can really secure good spots in this race. That's what I feel. Kyle Larson, 4th. Clint Boyer, 5th. Danny Hamlin, 6th. Eric Jones, 7th. AJ Allmendinger, 8th. Joey Logano, 9th. And Jimmy McMurray, 10th. So yeah, that's my top 10 right there for Stage 1. Stage 2, I have Martin Truex Jr. winning. This time I feel like Martin Truex Jr. is going to win Stage 2. But it's not going to be the Kevin Harvick entire show. Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch, Kyle Larson. Now, the reason I have Kyle Larson being up in fourth is that I feel like he has a good car, probably this time around. Lib Boyer, Denny Hamlin, Adrian Allmendinger, Joey Logano, Eric Jones, and Watkins Glen winner, Chase Elliott. Now, I feel like Chase Elliott is probably going to use a bit of an experience of racing at Watkins Glen, beating Kyle Busch, all that stuff. And hold off Martin Truex Jr. I think he's going to try to use that to his advantage. Kevin Harvick wins the race. No, dear. When you're down, go with Kevin Harvick. Martin Truex Jr. second. Kyle Busch third. Clint Boyer fourth. Kyle Larson fifth. Chase Elliott sixth. AJ Allmendinger seventh. Denny Hamlin falls back to eighth. Joe Logano up to ninth after being like tenth all day. No, he's been eighth before. And Eric Jones finally round out the top ten and tenth. So, the point standing. So, this is where I find it, you find out my round of 12 predictions. It is Kevin Harvick, Kyle Wood, Mark Trix Jr., Kyle Larson, Joey Logano, followed by Brad Kozlowski, Clint Boyer, Chase Elliott, Denny Allen, Ryan Blaney, Eric Jones, and the final spot goes to you, Kurt Busch. And I have a out, Bubba Wallace, Jamie McMurray, Jimmy Johnson, and Alex Bowman. So these first 12 are all in the round of 16 in the playoffs. So I had all these guys being eliminated on the bottom here. So you can see William Byron, AJ Allmendinger. AJ Allmendinger picks up a few points. Now it's eight points behind, seven points rather behind William Byron, sending his lead over Ryan Newman a bit. So the round of 12 is this: Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch, Martin Truex Jr., Chase Elliott, Denny Hamlin, Brad Keselowski, Joey Logano, Kyle Larson. Eric Jones, Ryan Blaney, Quinn Boyer, Kurt Busch, rounding out the field. You know, Kurt Busch doesn't have any playoff points whatsoever, so it's going to be difficult for him to do anything with these. So yeah, those are my Charlotte Rover predictions and my round sixteen predict uh, round twelve rather predictions. So let me know what you guys think. Who do you think is going to be the top ten in stage one, stage two, the the stage three? And after qualifying, and also hit that notification bell. Make sure to share this video with your family and friends. And also like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you a lot for watching, everyone. And I'll see you all later.